This is what we want to break down. What a de-hot topic, this shirt. <laughs> Hi, Carrie Kay here with another episode of Dirty Laundry TV, and today our guests are Forgetters. I'm going to um, have you introduce yourselves and tell me what you do in the band, if you don't mind. I'm Kevin, I play the drums. I'm Blake, I play guitar and sing. Mm -hmm. And I'm Caroline, and I play bass. And sing. And sing, a little bit. Red dress, red nails, your fault's not dark. So Blake. Yes. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been up to since Jawbreaker broke up? Uh, I had several careers. I was uh, I did another band, Jets to Brazil, mm -hmm. and then I went to graduate school and I uh, got my master's in British Romanticism and taught undergraduate yeah, literature did. in New York. Right on. And then I did another band called Thorns of Life, and then we all, then I did this band. I live in New York, I love it, I live in Brooklyn. Um, I feel like a, a citizen of Brooklyn. I know my community, I know everyone in my neighborhood, so yeah. I have a sense of groundedness. I love playing music again. I didn't really at the end of my other bands. Right. So that's a pretty huge difference. I don't know what what's shifted, but I actually enjoy making music. I feel like it's a good activity for the world. <laughs> that is a beautiful thing. I've had to figure my own self out and kind of get right with myself and take myself out of the equation. I meditate. I listen to a lot of Leonard Cohen. Like I looked at people who seem to maintain identity and sanity in the midst of all this the kind of ephemeral nature of pop culture and uh, I studied really good people you know and I've now I'm cool with it I'm okay with who I am so I want to share the love that I feel for songwriting and language with other people your previous band uh, Thorns of Life broke up right around the time that the current band Forgetters started. What happened? Well, there, I mean, we broke up and then Caroline and I started playing together. Uh -huh. She knew Kevin. So there was, a, there was a break period. It wasn't like automatic, but we just spent a summer kind of becoming a band. Right, how did you two meet? We spent a day drinking coffee together and having pastries in Brooklyn. <laughs> and then at some point, I think, you were like, no, this guy's all right. Do you have day jobs? Yes. What are they? I'm a job, so I, I manage like an employment program at a mental health resource center for folks with PSTD, schizophrenia, bipolar. Uh, I work at the farmer's market when it's not snowing and then do other like bartending and other side jobs. Nothing that serious currently. <laughs> Besides the band. Okay. That's work. The farm's pretty serious. Serious food. Yeah, it's some serious food. I'm a bartender now. Right on. Yeah, in my neighborhood. This is how I know my neighborhood. I mean, I, it's, it's a great new bar. It's a, it's a bar. As great as a bar can be, but it's kind of connected me with my local community, so. Yeah? It's, yeah. What's, what's the name of the bar? You want to do a little plug? <laughs> <laughs> sure, I'll plug it. It's called the Double Windsor. It's the in Park Slope. Double Windsor in Park Slope. Yeah. Craft, 14 lines of craft beer. If you like beer, it's good. Cool. So, Blake, what do you make of this uh, <laughs> godfather of emo tag? Uh, I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> Really, I get a lot of shit from my sister about it. You know, it's more a thing like where you're humiliated in front of your friends and family. Yeah. They throw it back at me. 
they didn't they didn't know about it, I wouldn't care, but Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't like it. No. I don't I don't cotton to that notion. No, I wouldn't imagine that you would. <laughs> Hey, I mean, wow. semantically, you could go back and like, we always refuted the term emo because when I was in high school and college, emo was early Discord records. Yeah. It was, it was Embrace and like stuff following Minor Threat and preceding Fugazi. Yes. And that, so I understood it as that micro genre. And now it's since morphed so many now times. It's something else entirely. I don't see any <laughs> connection between the various instantiations of email.